Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, The Truth Hurts. I want to thank everyone for their comments on my videos. It's encouraging to know that I'm making a difference in people's lives today. Please continue to make your comments and please like my videos so I will know just how effective they were. Today, I'm going to discuss red flag number 71, sexual behavior of a narcissist. When dating, you must observe your narc sexual behavior. Nymphomaniac, a person who has abnormally excessive and uncontrollable sexual desires. My next, my ex narc is quoted within my book, once again, here we go again, this time with the narcissist on Amazon. I told you before, I enjoy making love at least three to four times a week. I will even take two times a week. Give me some kind of outlet sex that will substitute the ailments that I greatly compromised. Also, some women get so much attention that if she's highly attracted to whomever is given the attention, she will give in. Red flag. Narcs don't want to make love. They want to fuck. That's two complete different things. Making love is when two people share so many feelings with one another that there is a physical expression of that word. Fucking is a man's penis rapidly thrusting back and forth in a woman's vagina. No feelings are needed for this action whatsoever because the action generates feelings of instant gratificational sensations. This is how people can fuck anybody. Run! Don't believe me? Answer this question. How many of you, many of you, have seen who your narc was cheating with? Wasn't that person ugly as hell? With my narc, he was so ugly. That I believed her when she told me he was just a friend. He was so ugly, I couldn't even get jealous. If you get with a narc and you fall in love with them, you will only get your feelings hurt. Trust me on that one. Red flag. My narc said to me, my ex narc said to me one time, what we had was just sex. I never felt so insignificant in all my life after hearing that. This was the woman I loved so much that I wanted to marry her. All my lovemaking was only sex to her. You couldn't stab me in the heart with the coldest, sharpest knife and hurt me more. Run! Red flag! This is narcissistic behavior. Narcissists don't make love. They have sex. This is the reason why they cannot love. During sex, they don't bond. They attach. Which is why narcissists are referred to as parasites. Run! Along with sexual behavior, is their sexual past. Narcs have a history of cheating because sex means nothing to them. You have to listen carefully. You can't ask them the simple question of how many people you slept with. The number will always be quadrupled. You have to be cunning. You have to, over a series of convos, find out whom they've been with and start counting the number of bodies they've been laying under with each story. In my moments of clarity, while writing my book, I counted 23 individuals in my narc's lifetime. A person like that could never be faithful. 
one woman I'm presently speaking to confirmed what I was saying with her story that her knock told her. He was, only, he was leaving her because he could never be faithful to her or any woman. The problem with dating is people look for faithful people only to cheat on them. The problem with dating today is the ones you want don't want you. And the ones that want you, you don't want. The problem with dating today is people don't know what a relationship is. The next time you meet someone that you would like to date, ask the person for his or her definition of what a relationship is. See if you like the answer or find it suitable. Most people think, well, if the sex is the bomb and we like the same movies and we like the same foods, we're compatible. That's not compatibility. That is not true compatibility. The kind of compatibility does not form a sturdy relationship. A relationship is when two people make a conscious decision to commit to another, to be there for one another, so that when hard times come, each can say to the other, I have your back, you have mine, and we'll get through this together. Unfortunately, when hard times come, too many people run into another person's arms thinking the grass will be greener on the other side. They forget that old saying that the grass may indeed be green on the other side, but they still got a motor lawn. With almost every woman I had that left for the better man only lasted two months. How great could that be? The most hurtful thing about this is I had this discussion with my ex snark and she agreed with me word to the wise. Pay attention to a person's actions and not their words. Listen to their words and you will be duped every time.